<laughs> All right. And so that moves <laughs> us into the main card. <laughs> that takes us into the main card here. Mm -hmm. uh, so first up, we got Bill Algeo. He sports that, you know, 13-5-0 record. He's had a few tough fights recently, mm -hmm. you know. Can't seem to get over that hump. We saw him a few months back. He lost to Ricardo Lamas. And so, you know, he'll be looking to bounce back here. He's fighting Spike Carlisle, a dude who looks so familiar, like a, an actor who I'm going to figure it out. It's going to take me a few days. But yeah, <laughs> he comes in with broken that. by that. You've been trying to figure that out for so long. Trust me, man. I, I can't peg it, but it's, it's going to come. And so, you know, he sports that 9-2 and two record. Mm -hmm. He's 1-1 one one in the UFC. We saw his recent loss against Billy uh, Quarantillo. Seems like a nice fighting pandemic name right now, so... Uh, you know, we, we see, we see. <laughs> so, <laughs> you wouldn't even need a nickname there, huh? That's, Just Corey Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you know, so we lost to him in decision. You know, the one thing that kind of stood out to me is that he kind of needs to work on his cardio. His skills were all there, but he does seem to tire himself out real quick. So, you know, give us a little more information on this one. Yeah, so I mean... Carlisle is one of one in the UFC, and he has losses to uh, our boy Billy Quarantillo, uh, but still absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you know, he really is quarantine Quarantillo, if you ask me. Uh, but, you know, Algeo's one loss is he's only one in the UFC, and it's against Ricardo Lamas. So, yeah, moving into Carlisle. As a fighter, I really like him. You know, he's built really thick for the division. The, the thing is, you know, I think you mentioned it. He's usually a lightweight. So right now, moving down to featherweight, that's going to be a bit of an issue for him, right? Like that that's cutting a lot of weight for a guy who comes in fairly bulky, nice and thick and cut. So, you know, I mean... I'm, and struggles I'm, with the cardio. Yeah. I'm going to assume that this man is losing some muscle for this weight cut. Like there's, there's mm. absolutely no two ways about it. You know, he looks really good at his <laughs> regular uh, lightweight belts, you know. So that's something I'm going to be really interested to see. But, you know, one and one in the UFC... I like the grappling aspect. You mentioned the cardio. Muscle always does that to some of these guys. And then these lower weight classes got to be careful, right? We saw mm -hmm. what LGO can do even against a guy like Lamas later in the rounds. At least he was able to defend. He was able to get some strikes off, able to try and make sure that he doesn't get finished. You know what I mean? Those are yeah. those are against good fighters. Those those are wins, you know? Especially when you look at, look at it from a grappling and MMA perspective. So, I mean, I'm really excited for this fight. I know, you know, diehards are really excited about this Spike Carlisle fight. These are like really good fan favorites, if you will, you know, in terms of regional guys, uh, up and covers, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm looking forward to it myself. It should be a good one. Uh, in terms of where you think Vegas pegs the line, where do you see it? Well, it's interesting because I do think that uh, it's maybe a close fight. But at the same time, you know, we talked about weight cut. We talked about regional scene. We talked about fighting a guy like Lamas. So I really do think Algeo is going to have to be given the, the edge here, especially with that length advantage and all that kind of stuff. So I actually have him right now because I don't see him being an underdog. It's minus 200. Because I don't, don't, can't see him being as a minus 300 favorite. <laughs> uh, Another one that's going to rock the world, man. Spooky's uh, about to get some. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's going to slap for sure. Maybe not as high, hard as Kai, but it'll slap. So mm -hmm. the, uh, the actual line is Spike is a favorite at minus 165. Okay. So Algeo does come in around plus 145, 150 around there. Mm hmm you know, man, I actually, this isn't even like a weight cut thing. I, I or, you know, by that, I mean a weigh-ins thing. This is a really interesting stylistic fight. You know, I think Algeo has a chance, man. If he's able to stay on his mm. feet, you know, we talked about, you know, game plan, coaching, all that kind of stuff. If he can stay on his feet for most of this fight, or even maybe and get some of his own grappling only for the sake of tiring a man out. Yeah. So this is a very interesting fight for him. You know, best of luck to both guys. You know, it's going to be really, really tough and grueling fight. That much I can tell you. But I, I do believe if this is a striking battle in the third round, Algeo might have a chance unless, you know, you yeah. can see Spike really put it on him the way kind of Lamas did. Because by the end of that fight, you know, it was all hard. For sure. Yeah, and honestly, in all the research that I've done myself, I do kind of see it leaning that way. If it does move to that th second, third round, Spike's not able to take advantage early. The advantage will go to Algeo, who has that better cardio and ability to finish at the end. Well, there it is. Quote, quote unquote, casual. Laying the smacketh downeth. <laughs> Yo, when all you do is watch fights, it helps, man. It helps. Let's go, baby. <laughs> We've got someone converting to the dark side. <laughs> 
but I think it's the light side. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, hit that bell button below, subscribe. Ring. All our information is in there. We got playlists for you to click on some of our prior content. Instagram, Twitter, it's all on there. Our pics will be up there. Always, it's a pleasure, my man. You too, guys. And, and frankly, Pi said it best. You search a fighter. There's some guys we've already covered a few times. So feel free to check them out. Subscribe, like, Pies. Love you, bro. Can't wait to get into the next card.